to attract more film and TV productions to Minnesota. Lawmakers want to increase $5 million in tax credits that are set to expire next year, up to $25 million a year in perpetuity. And tonight's Maury Stories, Maury Glover takes a look back at one of the films that was shot during the heyday of Minnesota-made movies, a movie called Untamed Heart. At the corner of 4th and Central in northeast Minneapolis, only a faded sign hints at the property's hidden history. The building used to be the home of a neighborhood staple, but more than 30 years ago, it took a star turn in a Hollywood movie. In the spring of 1992, a film crew descended on Jim's Coffee Shop and Bakery to shoot Untamed Heart, starring Christian Slater, Marissa Tomei, who had just won an Oscar for My Cousin Vinny. Forget it. I don't feel like talking about it anymore. And Rosie Perez. Steve and Bull Cattle on today. The tearjerker is about an unlikely romance between Tomei's character, Caroline, who's a waitress at Jim's, and a shy busboy named Adam, played by Slater. I'm sorry. It was something I've always wanted to do, is be in the movies. I felt really good about it. I felt really proud that I got the part. And uh, I felt like a star for a day. Local actor and Pepito's owner, Joe Mangeris, played the fictional owner of the vintage coffee shop. Come on, ladies, we're getting busy now. Too, taking too many breaks. Let's go. Come on. Just that down. Which was one of the main locations in the movie. He recalls Perez, who was coming off the success of White Men Can't Jump, telling him about being typecast at that time in her career. Oh, she calls him thick. We were getting makeup on. She was sitting next to me, and she was talking about getting a lot of offers, but, but they were all Mexicans. She says, I want to play a Puerto Rican once in a while, which what, what, what she is. The film was originally set in New Jersey and was supposed to be shot there. But director Tony Bill reportedly fell in love with Jim's during a location scouting trip to Minnesota and decided to move the movie to Minneapolis. You know, it, had, it was an old school, kind of hardly changed at all, really great looking, you know, kind of vintage coffee shop, um, you know, and had been there for a long time at that point. Robert Graff, who's from Prior Lake and has executive produced oh, movies by fellow Minnesotans, the Cohen brothers, like No Country for Old Men. What's the most you ever lost on a coin toss? Sir? Was the location no. manager on the film. He says Jim's became the anchor for the movie, but the crew also shot in other locations around Northeast. It looks like a, co a cohesive community in the movie because it is a cohesive community. It's kind of built with these locations that are all kind of in relation to each other, not, not far from each other at all. In fact, Graff remembers hosting a community meeting to convince nearby business owners to allow the crew to film in the neighborhood. And he had to make special accommodations to use a parking lot behind Jim's that was owned by late Aveda founder Horst Reichelbacher who had a training institute for hairstylists across the street. You know, I had to set up a valet parking system, you know, for everyone, everyone who came to Horst got valet parked for two or three weeks while, while we were shooting because it was the only way that I could get them to give us the parking lot. Yeah, what happened? <laughs> it slid on a dead squirrel going around a turn over by Frog Town, uh -huh. demolished the bike. <laughs> the movie also contains several local references. Yeah, he got drunk as a dog down the street. He tried to run through the Lowry Hill Tunnel, except he passed out halfway through because of the car fuel. And eagle-eyed viewers may also recognize other spots around the Twin Cities, like River Place, Prince's one-time club, Glam Slam and a North Stars game at the Old Met Stadium. Untamed Heart is a time capsule of sorts for the 90s, and some elements haven't aged well. Why? Like Adam following Caroline home at a distance after work and admitting he sneaks into her parents' home at night sometimes to watch her sleep. Mind if I ask something else? Then there's Tomei's attempt. Sorry at a Minnesota accent. Oh my God, this is pretty deep. You know, I need stitches. Hold it like this. It's a hard accent to do properly. Um, you know, I think she did I think she did a valiant job. But Graf believes the love story's baboon heart, which was the original title during the shoot, 
was in the right place. It's not the most it's not the most well known of, of all the movies in Minnesota or even all the movies that I've done. I think ultimately it's a it's a sweet movie. Jim's coffee shop eventually closed in 1997, and the building is now offices for IN, a clean hair and skincare brand also founded by Rekobacher. It's been decades since Minnesota had a recurring role on the silver screen, but Manjaris believes his home state deserves another shot at the limelight. Uh, I think they should do more. In that period of time, they were doing movies here, and I think they should do more. For Maury Stories, Maury Glover, Fox 9. It is a very sweet movie. It takes me back, you know, I. As Maury was delivering that story, I, I remember some of those details happening. I, I worked at a different place here. <laughs> and then all of the, yeah, I'm sure the yeah. fans were trying to get pictures. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. It, was, it was kind of a cluster over there yeah. for quite a, <laughs> quite a while, I remember that for sure.